Well, it's been a great event. Uh, we began with a cultural demonstration that helped to set the tone for the whole visit. Then I had an opportunity to uh, see this facility, the, uh, the museum, the display, and the governor explained to me uh, the traditions represented. Uh, in particular, a lot of focus here on the relationship with the water and with the river, uh, which I know is, is foundational to how this facility and, and how this entire community has, has developed. Then came our, our discussion uh, with Gila River leadership, uh, representatives from the Akchen, Tana Agam, and Salt River communities, uh, each of which have different experiences, but I find all of those experiences rhyme, and uh, there were a lot of common themes. Uh, to hear about other uh, sources of DOT funding that are helping uh, deal with these issues, but also just how big the issues are. And it's exactly why we think it's so important to have these conversations to better understand the issues and the, the challenges that leaders uh, like Governor Lewis are facing as they seek to provide the right kind of transportation services to their tribal citizens. Having Secretary Buttigieg come not only once but twice, coming back to, to the community as well and visiting with the sister tribes, really talking about how we can continue recognition of tribes, of our, of our specific, of our unique interests as well. And hopefully, you know, with uh, the Gila River Indian community partnering with the state on getting recognition for being awarded that important in infra grant for the I-10, for a sitting secretary to come to Indian country, it speaks volumes. It speaks about his commitment, his ongoing commitment to leadership and to advocacy and to recognition of tribal sovereignty and our unique place in regards to our relationship with the federal government.